After the past two weeks in conference play and unable to pick up a win on a Friday, Indiana State made sure it didn't leave Bob Warren Field this Friday night without one, knocking off the Redbirds 5-2. to two. When you haven't won game one and you've lost the midweek games, there's still a lot of tension in that ninth inning. Um, so I think it's just good to get a win and, and remember what it feels like so that guys settle down down the stretch and, and not press to close out a game. So I think that's the biggest piece. I feel like when you, when you lose some games, you press at different points of the game, trying to be perfect. And I thought we did a better job with our ABs tonight. We were much more aggressive. We were much more on time. Uh, we could have had a couple ABs there timely that, that would have really opened the game up. Didn't happen. But for the most part, I was pleased with, with the way we pitched it, the way we defended it, uh, and, and most of our bats. Mike, it's never good to lose a series and everything. So the guys, the guys were definitely down, and we were trying to have a good balance back game against IU. They're t they're a tough team and everything. And midweek, you don't have your you don't have your guys per se on the mound. But we had a good good uh, good pitching out of the pen on uh, on Tuesday night there against IU. So those guys are going to be ready all weekend too and everything. So we're just looking to kind of get back to our form that we were at early in the season when we went on that little run there. You just heard Hayden Jaco, a three-hit night with two RBI, filling in for the injured Max Wright, doing exactly what his head coach and Mitch Hannes ask all of his guys to be ready to do. Everybody deals with them. That's that's part of it. I think it was Lou Holtz that said 90% 90, 90 of people don't care and the other 10% want you to fail. So uh, nobody cares. It's just something you got to deal with. The only thing is internally you know there's a new guy in the spot. Um, and those guys got to step in and get better and keep playing and, and credit credit Hayden. He's done a heck of a job, you know, stepping in with no time. He's doing a great job behind the plate. He's getting some great ABs, uh, just doing a really good job back there. And that's and that's been huge. Um, obviously, if you have to lose a position on the field, you don't want it to be a catcher. Uh, but it happened, and and uh, I'm really pleased with the way Hayden's played. Well, you know, um, like obviously. Seems to be like a little bit of a trend as Romero came in early in the season and he had a couple big at bats and then obviously you just have to stay ready every day in practice and work with your pitchers and make sure you're still comfortable behind the plate with them in practice and everything. So me being able to step in there, got to settle in real quick and then um, just focus on putting good swings on the ball, the plate. Not only is Jaco swinging the bat well as we mentioned, he gets to catch some of the best guys in this league has to offer on the rubber in Tyler Ward and Ethan Larson, both who continue to carry a huge load for the Sycamore pitching staff. Oh yeah, our pitching staff's been incredible all year and everything, so they're a great group of guys to work with. Pretty, pretty, and it's easy to get comfortable with those guys, so they've been excellent all year for us, and if they keep producing what they're doing on the mound, and. We keep uh, we turn it around on the sticks. We're gonna have, have a great back half here. The most impressive thing to me about all of those guys is it's not like we've given them a ton of cushion to go out there and relax and pitch. You know they they pitched with their back against the wall all year and they continue to just do a heck of a job of keeping us in games when we've scuffled a little bit offensively. That's the most impressive thing about Tyler and what he's done so far. You know whether it's eight two and he's got a cushion or two two or two one, which are most of the games he's been in. Uh, he just competes. He just competes and make you, makes you beat him. And um, he's a special guy on the mound. He's, he's been out there since he was a freshman and just does a heck of a job competing for us. For more coverage on the Sycamores and Redbirds series this weekend, stay right here at GoSycamores.com.